Hi there, I'm Larry Marsicano. I'm the director of the Candlewood Lake Authority, and we are stocking some more triploid grass carp. Uh, today, these carp have radio transmitters that have been surgically implanted, and this summer uh, we are going to be uh, tracking them and seeing where they move. Uh, last year, we stocked about 3,800 of these fish, uh, about 10 different sites uh, around Candlewood. So, what we're trying to do with this project is understand um, their movement behavior and see how far they move relative to uh, sites that have a lot of habitat where they can feed as well as sites where there isn't quite as much habitat and understand uh, how much they move during the course of the summer and that will help us uh, maybe better dis distribute fish in future stockings. Uh, Hi, how you doing? I'm Todd Bobwick from Rollage Pond Aquaculture. Uh, we're actually the oldest private hatchery facility in the state of Connecticut. And we're involved with this project in terms of securing the grass carp. Uh, all these fish actually originate out of Arkansas, uh, transported up here into our facility. Uh, these, uh, this small batch of fish that's being stocked today uh, are all implanted with radio transmitters. Grass carp are actually a white aimer. Uh, and they will grow to significantly large sizes. I mean, right now we're just stocking these fish at, at uh, about 14 to 16 inches in length, but they'll get up over three feet. Uh, they are all sterile. Uh, every single fish has had a blood sample taken from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, they actually pressure shock the eggs during uh, mitosis to actually create a triple set of chromosomes. Uh, so these fish are all sterile, all triploid, uh, and they'll get up over three feet. And the purpose of the liberation is to the control of most of, mostly the control of uh, Eurasian milfoil that's here in Canada Lake. So hi, I'm Theodora Pinu. I'm a professor of biology at Western Connecticut State University, which is located here in Danbury, Connecticut. What, what I'm doing is I'm holding an antenna that is uh, able to pick up radio frequencies. And we have fish in the lake that are wearing transmitters that have been programmed to send signals in different radio frequencies. And my job is to stand around here and hold up, this is an antenna that picks up these frequencies so that we know where the fish are moving around the lake and grazing on the invasive milfoil that we're trying to control here in the lake. 